Right, so this week we're going to be using the, the micro bit, okay? And what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to show you how to connect it to your computer and how to download uh, the code onto it so that it works, all right? So first thing you're going to have is your micro bit and a micro USB cable. They're the first two things you need. Uh, I've got the USB plugged into my laptop now. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to Chrome. And when I'm on Chrome, I'm gonna to go to makecode.microbit.org, okay? And it's gonna load up like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on a new project, give it a name, I'm just gonna call it test. Okay, so there's my project. My head's in the way for a lot of it right now, but we don't really need a lot of it. Um, First thing we have to do is we have to get the laptop ready to download to the microbit. And now, just a little quick one, all right? This this will this will help us later on. Uh, what we need to do is on Chrome, okay? Uh, we need to press the three dots, go down to settings, and when we're on settings, you need to go right down to the bottom. There's a button there called Advanced. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go down here and where it says downloads, I need to have this box ticked blue. So ask where to save each file before downloading. And I'm going to tick that box. Okay. So that it's blue. All right. So that means I'm ready to start downloading. I'm just going to click off it. Um, all I'm going to do is I'll just get it to, to, um, to say micro bit on the front. So I'm just going to go to the code. Uh, I'm going to put a string in, I'm going to put micro bit in it like that. So that's all I want to do. I want it to, like on here on our emulator, I want it to display micro bit, okay, uh, on repeat. So here's where I need to grab my micro bit and I want to plug in the micro USB at the top. So I'm going to plug it in, okay. I know that it's plugged in and it's connected. Um, because, well, it might open up like a folder like this, but also uh, I've got a power wire, a power light on the back. You can see the yellow power light just there, okay? That's going to be really important in a minute, actually, so pay attention to that one, okay? I'm just going to hold it here so you guys, here so you guys can see it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download my code. So I'm going to press download. And this save box will pop up. If you didn't do the settings on Chrome, you wouldn't get this save box. So it's really important that you do the settings on Chrome and make sure they're correct. Uh, I can scroll down here, find the micro bit, okay? And then I can just about, let me just move this, press save. Now, if you just watch that little light when I press save, you can see here the little light, I don't know if you can see it, is flashing. So while it's downloading my code, it should be flashing, okay? That means it's doing the download. Once it's stopped flashing, there you go, you can see it stopped flashing, it's a steady light. That means it has downloaded and you can see that it is displaying my text. It's in reverse, I don't know why I'm reversed, but it's saying micro bit, okay? So you can see it's downloaded. So that is how you get your code from the laptop onto the micro bit. And now that it's on there, I can unplug it. Uh, that code will stay on there. Uh, I could quite happily go and get my battery pack uh, and it will play just the same with my battery pack. So that is how you get your code from your laptop onto the micro bit. Thanks guys, see you later.